Hi, and welcome to digitalphotographyhowto.com. My name is Annette, and I am going to walk you through the steps to make your picture sepia. So we're going to open a file. Okay, now Photoshop comes with actions, which is a process of steps that will change your photo with just one click. And so if you don't show actions over to the side, you can go up to view, actually window, and then you're going to scroll down until you see show actions. I already have it showing so I can choose to hide my actions. But if you don't have it showing, it will say show actions. Then you'll click on that and then it will bring it up over in one of these little palettes over here. Now with Photoshop, the default actions, there's a sepia step. So you're just going to, you're going to, you have to hit that little triangle beside default actions to bring down all the options. So we're, I'm just going to go down and you can see right here that there's sepia toning and then I'm just going to click play. and then you'll watch it change to sepia. Now if you want to change some of the highlights and shadows, you can go up to image, adjust, and levels, and you can slide the levels. Well, actually, it's not letting me. Let's see if it's because it's a PSD. Oh, yep. Now over here are my layers. This, in order to make the sepia, it took my background layer it layered a black and white layer on top of it and then it changed the hue and saturation right here. So now if I want to change my levels I can either go to create a new fill or an adjustment level but what's easier I think is to just flatten the layers together. So I'm going to go to layer down to flatten image and then it's just going to flatten all these together so there's no more layers on top of each other. So now I can go to image, adjust levels, and then I'm going to use my sliders to add some more shadow and depth to the picture. Right here. And click OK. And there's my sepia toned picture.